get to where it all started. On the 27th of August 2016, Lauren and I moved to Paris with our white and brown kitten into a 30 square meter lime green apartment. It was just a studio apartment, it was quite small. Lauren started art college and I started to try and get my life together with all those difficulties that I faced at the start. I found a job at an English pub called the Cross of St. George. It was an English pub, which was great for me because it meant I could speak English with the staff and the customers, but it wasn't great for me because it was an English pub, which meant that I wasn't learning French as fast as I could have been. Of course, I tried to find work in the media industry, but as soon as I got to the written stage of the interview, I couldn't understand a single word of French besides the mere basics. I worked at the Cross for one year and six months, where it's just the same routine every day. If it wasn't for my boss allowing me to just work day shifts, which I was really lucky to be allowed to do, and for the people that I met that became my friends who worked there, then I really wouldn't have made it through. To stay mentally sane, I would run, I would meditate, and of course, I would do yoga. And the other thing that Lauren and I would do together is that we'd go on these adventures all over France and sometimes to other parts of the world. And when Lauren and I could afford to, we would take some time off and do some bigger trips. We went to Bruges in Belgium. We went to the Italian Riviera. We went to the snowy north of Sweden. And while we were there, we stayed in an eco lodge and I walked on a frozen lake, which scared the absolute crap out of me. But apparently in winter, these lakes are frozen so much that they drive school buses over the top of them. We also went back to Australia in 2017 to see my family. We went to Sydney to catch up with some other family, and some other friends, and most recently our biggest trip was a two-week holiday in Israel, where among other things we went to the West Bank, and that was very scary for me. One of the highlights, among many, were when we hiked through the Negev Desert in the Mitzpe Raman crater, which is in the south middle part of Israel and it was 44 degrees heat but it was just such a special moment for both of us to feel like we were completely out of the city life and in and among nature. We would start these little traditions, stuff like going to really good coffee shops to find Australian style coffee or when it was my birthday these last two years we went out and hiked a mountain and it's something I've grown really fond of, which is hiking and being amongst nature and hiking in the mountains and seeing these massive views in front of us. I think in late October 2017, I finished my training to be a yoga teacher. It was in English, it was on weekends. It was also an opportunity to bring ambition and fulfillment back to my life and to focus on myself in a sense of what I wanted to do and the drive that I had in my life. And I realized that there would never be a perfect time for me to make that change. This big opportunity is never gonna yell at me in the face. It's gonna be up to me to make that change. A month later, I started to teach yoga in Paris. And so now I'm a yoga teacher. It's been such a fulfilling and thrilling journey for me. As scared as I've been, I feel so lucky. I'm on this track of personal and spiritual and, and mental growth and it's just been a catalyst for so many positive changes and realizations in my life. So just as this new chapter has begun, my chapter in Paris is coming to an end because Lauren and I are moving to New Zealand. Voila. Thank you very much for watching these vlogs. Thanks for following my journey. And yeah, that's it. Thank <laughs> you.